So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a frame variable and it's going to either be frame 0, 1, or 2 and that will be our starting point and uh, basically we'll cut out this if it's you know frame 0, this if it's frame 1, and this if it's frame 2. Simple, right? Easy peasy. So what this variable is going to be is a float variable. And yes, I know what floats are because I've been using doubles quite a bit and someone commented, hey, don't you know what a float is? And I'm like, oh yeah, I probably should be using floats, huh? So we're just going to use a float value and we're going to call this float frame and we're going to set this equal to be zero. Start out with, right? So now what we're going to do is try and draw the same image. So our frame set to zero and, you know, our draw image is all set up. But what we want to do is we actually want to adjust with the y value. So we're going to say y value times frame. And also uh, for this y value where we want to cut out, we want to say times frame as well. And right away we're getting an error because again frame is at float. We have to cast it as an int. And uh, cast it as an int over here. And there we go, we're good to go. And then all we want to do is take, uh, instead of this being zero times frame, I'm sorry, this was supposed to be 40 times frame. And then also for this Y position, we're gonna have 40 times frame plus 40. So let's go to our sprite sheet and I'll kind of explain what we're doing here. So we're gonna open this up. And as you can see, if we, you know, if we start this now, frame is equal to zero. So zero times forty is going to be zero for x or for our y position of where we want to start. So it's going to start at the position zero zero here, and then for our ending position, we're going to have a value of one twenty, and a you know a y position of this will be zero plus forty. So it'll end right here. So we'd cut out this first you know section if our frame was equal to zero. Um, but let's try it for one. If whoops. But if frame was equal to 1, we'd have a starting position of 0, 40, as you can see here, because 1 times 40 is 40. So we'd start here, and then we'd have the ending position of 120, and then frame times 40, so that'd be 40 plus another 40, so 80. So that would cut out this section. And that's kind of how that works. Um, we'll just cut out different sections according to what frame it currently is. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our update method and kind of update our frame for us. So all we're going to do first is set up an integer value because again, um, well I'll explain that in a second. We're going to call this tester and we're going to set this equal to be frame plus 0.1. Actually we'll just say 1 for right now. Uh, it's kind of easier to explain. And what we're going to do is we're going to cast this as an int. So we have that set up, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up if statement. So we're gonna say if tester is less than three, um, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna say frame plus equal one, and uh, else frame plus, or I'm sorry, frame equal to be zero. And you don't need brackets if you know you only have one line of code. So all we're doing is we're first saying, hey, if we add one to our current frame and then we cast it into an integer value, what will that integer value really be? And then we're gonna take that integer value and say, hey, if that's less than three, because again, we've already added one to it up here. So um, this is basically if our frame is less than two, is what this is saying, but since we our tester variable, we add one to it already. We're gonna say if tester is less than three, all we're gonna do is we're gonna add one to our frame, else we're gonna add or set our frame back to be zero. So we just cycle through zero, one, and two. All right, let's just save it, run it. I'll show you guys uh, what we have so far. We only have one other modification. So as you can see, it looks decent, but as it kind of looks kind of weird. Um, you know, all the blood and sweat we put into the sprite sheet isn't really getting the justice um, because uh, uh, it looks like it's going way too fast or something. So let's go back into our code. 
and we are going to change this point or this one to point one and this one to point one as well. So this is kind of why we had this as a float value because let's say if our frame was point three, we're going to say if point three plus point one, you know, what is that? Point four. But we have to cast that into an integer value, so point four would become zero. So our tester variable would be zero, and then we're going to say, hey, that, yeah, that's less than that's less than three. Um, let's uh, let's go down, and we're going to add one to frame. So now it's just frame is going to become point four, and then uh, when we cast again frame within our draw method, it's going to return a value of zero. Um, and then it's just going to cycle through that until obviously we have like a 2.9 and then we add 0.1 here and we're going to say hey is our tester less than 3 and we're going to be like no because it you know it cast as a 3 and uh, then we're just going to set it back equal to 0. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, that's about the best I can do. Sorry guys if it doesn't. Kind of early for me and uh, deal with it. So now we have kind of a slower animation as you can see here. Um, and you can just obviously mess with the speed if you want, just changing these variables. But that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, again, what we can do is just you know cut out this box here. We don't really need this fill rec or this set color um, because we have an image now. So uh, there we go. That's how we set up our platform image. And I hope you guys kind of enjoyed that because it's kind of cool scaling images and messing around with them. But uh, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one. Peace.